I also want to bring in Andrew Aki, who is the attorney for Ron Logan. He joins me from Logansport, Indiana. Thank you, Andrew, for being so patient. I know it's hard to hear a lot of these questions and certainly difficult to hear those two stories of the two different alibis given to two different reporters, one to us and one to other reporters. Can you account for those two alibis of your client? I cannot I can comment on the uh, facts of the case at this time, and I certainly can't account for that at this time. On February 13, 2017, 77-year-old Ronald Logan drove his white Ford F-150 to the Carroll County Transfer Station. Video footage from that day shows Logan pulling into the transfer station at 11.53 a.m. The bed of Logan's truck is filled with what appear to be large black bags of trash. Several minutes later, at 11.58 a.m., the same video shows Logan exiting the transfer station and driving away. The Carroll County Transfer Station is about five miles or approximately eight minutes from Ron Logan's home. If Logan left the transfer station at 11.58 a.m. and traveled directly to his house, he would arrive home between 12.05 and 12.10 p.m. Monday afternoon, I was in Lafayette Aquarium World getting a tropical fish from my aquarium. So when I came home, uh, one of the neighbors stopped and asked for me to come back here and look for the missing girls, and that's the first time I knew anything about it. An Aquarium World receipt dated February 13, 2017, with a checkout time of 5.21 p.m. was collected during the March 6 probation violation search of Logan's home. It takes approximately 27 minutes to travel from Logan's house to the Lafayette Aquarium World. With a checkout time of 5.27 p.m., it is reasonable to assume Logan left his home sometime between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. on the day of the murders. Logan claimed these were the only two trips he made on February 13, 2017. Cell tower data from that day also supports this claim. This suggests that Logan was home from the time he returned from the Carroll County Transfer Station around 12.10 p.m. to when he left for the Aquarium World in Lafayette sometime between 4 and 5 p.m. 
Cell tower data from February 13, 2017 shows that Logan made a phone call at 2.09 p.m. near the area of the Monon High Bridge. Ron Logan originally indicated that he was not home at the time that Abigail Williams and Liberty German went missing, claiming that he was at the Carroll County Transfer Station dropping off trash. When Logan learned that video footage taken at the transfer station that morning clearly disproved this statement, his story changed. See, I was not home during the, the time that all this was happening. I was in Lafayette, yeah. and I didn't get home until approximately 6.30 in the evening. I mean, we had one person that we thought has to be him, and then as we, we got into it, we found out there was no way it could have been him. This is my backyard. My backyard just happens to be bigger than most people. How many people have a murder committed at their home in their backyard? This is the gate they left down. Okay, there's the crime scene down there. See how the ground's much more matted down right in yeah. here? I think you're right there as, as to what's happened here.